Is your water softener sweating? Are you finding that the, the sweat and the condensation that runs off the tank is ruining the floor around your water softener? Are you finding that mold is growing on the outside of the tank? Isn't it disgusting? How can you stop this mess for your family? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to size and install a water softener sweat jacket to stop the sweating, starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Now, whether you're a homeowner, a plumber, or water filtration specialist, this video is for you. Getting that condensation problem under control is super easy. And by the way, these water softener sweat jackets don't just work on water softeners, they also work on tannin filters, backwashable carbon filters, iron filters, you name it. Any kind of a tank like this that uh, is the right size, these jackets will definitely work. So whenever a cold liquid runs through a vessel that's in an area that's warm and humid, you get condensation. And that's what's causing this problem. So especially if you live in the southern states, or if you're in a cottage, or something like that, where it's in a hot and humid environment, then you get this condensation forming. Especially if you don't have air conditioning or, or poor ventilation in the part of the home where you have your water softener located. So as we all know, the outside of the tank becomes totally wet with condensation and then it starts running down and that's where we start getting all those puddles. And then of course there's the mold situation. So what happens is because these tanks are, there's condensation all over the tanks, there's water, they're damp, and they're typically located in an area where there's very poor air circulation, what happens is mold starts to grow. So these things can become quite fuzzy in no time at all and that mold is very difficult to clean off. How do, we, how do we solve this problem? We need to insulate the tanks. What do we use? We use neoprene. It's the same kind of material that's being used for scuba divers for their wetsuits. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, mold growth, check out this picture. These neoprene jackets provide an easy solution to the problem. So you don't need to remove the head, you don't need to disconnect the uh, water softener from the plumbing, you don't need to do all of that. All you need to do is uh, make sure you order the right size. Now to order the right size, you need to know what size your tank is. So there's a couple ways how you can uh, determine that. The easiest way is just to read the label. See where it says size? You're looking for a four digit number. So this tank is uh, the diameters first, so it has a, a 10, and then a 35. So what this is telling us is that this is a 10 by 35 tank, 10 inches in diameter, 35 inches long. Here's a couple of other uh, examples of the tanks. Again, we're looking for a four digit number. This is a 10 by 54. So it's 10 inches diameter by 54 inches long. And uh, another example, often these are stenciled right onto the tank. So this is a 10 by 44. And again, this is a larger tank, a 12 by 52. Installing the jacket is super easy. You don't have to disconnect the plumbing. You don't have to disconnect anything. You don't have to unscrew the valve. All you need to do is just take the jacket, unzip it, drape it around like this, lean, it, lean against it to hold it in place. Just go down to the bottom. Use the Velcro tab, slide it in just to hold the jacket in place, then slide the tab into the zipper. Slide the tab into the zipper like that. Zip it up. Hold the jacket together as you're zipping it up so you don't split the zipper. Pull it up. And you're done. So if you can't find the label or you can't read it, or you can't get to it, you can always measure. So you need two measurements. That is the diameter. So the diameter is from here to here, straight across. Okay, you need to measure straight across, not around. Straight across, that's the diameter. So in this tank, it's 10 inches. And then you need to measure the height. So you measure from the floor right up to the neck. This is the neck here. Okay, so in this tank, if you measure from the floor to the neck, it's 55 inches. But you do need to compensate for the base. What I'm talking about there is the base. This is the base here, this black part on the bottom of this tank. So that takes up an inch. So because this is 55 inches to here, you have to subtract an inch for the base and it's 54. So this is a 10 by 54 inch tank and that's the size of jacket we would order, a 10 by 54 jacket. We have numerous sizes of jackets available on our websites, watereastore.com or watereastore.ca in Canada, uh, but sometimes you won't find exactly the right size. You definitely need the diameter. So like I say, it's 10 by 54. This one's 10 inches in diameter. But if you can't find the right length, 
You can always get a tank a jacket that's slightly longer and then you can just roll it over on the end like this like you would like a pant cuff. Okay, it doesn't look as neat, but it'll still do the job. So what if your water softer tank already has condensation and mold on it? No problem. Just clean that off, dry the tank really well before you put on the jacket. For my next video on water softeners, click over here and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below. I read them all and love to answer yours.